In 1975, humans had hunted the Indian rhinoceros to the brink of extinction. We head to the Terai Arc, where we join devoted rangers on their daily hunt for poachers. We're going to look for the one horn rhino. Uh, they have two that are collared, and they go. They use this corridor uh, to go in between Nepal and India. So we're going to go look for the closest one. The dense foliage makes this area impassable by car or truck. And the only way the rangers can patrol the jungle is on elephant back or on foot. I know, Prince. They're big nails, toenails in front, and they're all working through here. So let's keep going. Well, this is another good sign that rhinos are in the area. Behind me is a ficus tree, the fruit of which is one of the rhino's favorite foods. And interestingly enough about rhinos, unlike elephants, is this is a whole mound of rhino poop. They actually come back over and over and over and defecate in the same place. The problem is, of course, is that poachers know this. And so outside of the protection of a place like Bardia National Park, uh, this is easy uh, pickings for poachers. Along the way, we visit a small animal sanctuary to meet a rhino named Bigram, whose mother was a victim of poachers and who was too young to survive alone in the wild. It would take poachers 15 minutes, 15 minutes they could shoot the rhino, kill it, someone would go down, soft the horn, and run away. It would only take 15 minutes. And that is why it was, it's so hard to fight poaching. Tragically, the battle to save the rhino still rages on today. The number one threat to these remarkable creatures remains humans. The reason why rhino horn is so valuable is because people think that it can heal a lot of ailments like hangovers, cancer, fever. It's an aphrodisiac, but obviously we know that none of that is true. It's actually just made of keratin. It's like your fingernails. While the Indian rhino population remains severely threatened, conservation in Nepal is working. This success is a result of aggressive anti-poaching campaigns where law enforcement and local communities work together, supported by nonprofit conservation organizations like WWF and the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation, it proves that solutions to the poaching crisis do exist.